Welcome back, everybody, to another episode on the Loverfella Minecraft server. I got some fireworks. We can fly wherever we want, and man, I was just enjoying the view of the base, but we can't just enjoy the view. We need to improve this view, and that is why we are going to start working on our casino again today because last time it made us so much money, it's going to make us even more money today. All right, I have arrived at the new fishing resort and casino and the first thing we need to do is get the casino back up and running last episode we had a vanilla sword in here but it sold out somebody did end up winning so we have 285 grand to go on the AH and find a new item to stock up with okay so i did some extensive searching and this was the cheapest item that i could find but the problem is it's not a buy now we have to bid on this so we're gonna go ahead and put a two hundred thousand dollar bid on this and we'll come back later in the episode if we end up winning it all right and the bid has been placed i went ahead and bidded two hundred and one thousand one thousand more than the previous winner of that so hopefully we'll win that but now we have a lot more improvements to do to this area also who on earth keeps lighting all these fires here guys i had a ton of fish on all these campfires if you guys remember from last episode but for some reason players can come here and set this on fire i don't know how they're doing it but it gets rid of all the fish it is a very sad day indeed all those fish went to waste i don't know what happened to them i guess they just burnt to a crisp all right so i have not checked this since last episode um i told everybody to just put their fish catches in here because we provided the giant climate controlled dome of fishing and I was hoping they would send me a bunch of stuff, so let's see. Oh, wait a minute. Guys, we got a lost shard, I believe. Now, I'm not sure, but I think you trade these in for lover bucks. Okay, we have to put that in our inventory right now. I also have three daily keys, because I've been doing slash daily as I've been playing. Um, we got some enchanted books, smite four, not very good, and sharpness three. I guess we could make a sword to kill zombies or something, but everything else looks like a lot of junk um i mean you do catch a lot of junk while fishing but it's clear to me and i i knew this was going to happen i got chests and hoppers ready we will be expanding the storage here so people can keep donating even when this gets full because this is all the way full right now all right before we do that though we need to go to spawn and see what this whole lost shard thing's about because i don't know what it does but we have to find out. Okay, so I'm at spawn. I went down to the harbor, and I believe Fisherman Jack right here is who takes the shards. Oh, yes, here they are. Just a few shards. Oh, okay, I see how this works. So for five shards, we can get $100,000. Honestly, not bad, but if we save up these shards until we get 30 of them, we can get 150 lover bucks, which means we can start buying expensive real life money keys. We are definitely gonna save these um, because I mean, guys, we didn't do any work for this and other people are the ones catching them for, that, for us. And while we're at spawn, we might as well head up the hill from the harbor and go open up our three daily keys, wherever they are, here they are. All right, here we go, we got three chance. Oh, let's, let's let this guy go before us. He looks like he has one too. Yep. Guys, we were going to open up this key, but I saw this man run up right behind me, and he has the full daily armor set. Let's see what we would have got here. If this is a key, I swear. Okay, that would have been a shovel. We lucked out there. Let's see what we're going to get now. A mending book. Okay, you know what? I saw the purple. I got excited. It's not the worst thing in the world. What's this guy going to get? Okay, another mending book. We've seen this before. Daily boots. Okay, we have one more shot at this. Does anybody else have a key? They want to use it before us? Oh, here we go. A daily helmet. That could have been us. Here we go. A daily chest plate. Oh my goodness, man. There were a lot of keys open there and I did not see anybody get anything good. I mean, I guess mending books are all right, but at this point on the server, everybody has mending books. Those were good like week one nowadays pretty much just trash all right i'm back at our original base i went ahead and put our garbage items into the chest of shame i guess we can throw the mending book into the casino because i mean i guess if you win that it's not a total l it's not like a dirt block but now that we have elytra we can fly over in record speed oh 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 my gosh how many fireworks did i just use right there it got us out of the water though that's all that matters we're just going to take a quick little fly over our old little village past the house from up man i love that movie that little dog i would love a dog like that guy and then boom we're back in the casino all right the first thing i want to take care of is the chest situation as you saw we already got one shark and it's already filled back up since i took it out we need to get a ton of chest vertical on this thing now i don't know exactly how this works but i'm hoping i can just keep putting hoppers underneath the chest right that that seems like it would work and then more chest is it am i smart oh my gosh it is working 
Okay, yeah, so I just have to replicate this design all the way down to like bedrock. All right, I have made a giant chest tower here. We'll just start with this for now and we can always go down more. Oh, that guy just missed the hopper and threw a stake down here. But as you can see, the bottom chest is filling up as we speak. Now I just need a ladder to get out of here. And there we go. We are going to be rolling in the lover bucks soon as long as we can keep people here fishing. Now that's the key. Um, if people aren't fishing here, we're not going to get anything out of this. So we need to ensure our customers keep staying in our resort. And a great way to keep people in this resort is to have wildlife, guys. I am talking about turtles, dolphins, tropical fish, whatever we can get in here. But those things are expensive. As you guys all know, I probably put a million dollars into animals since this series began and they almost always die. So what I'm going to do is open up a community donation chest for mob eggs. If people want to donate their turtles or their dolphins to this area, it's basically a wildlife sanctuary. We can write that off on our taxes, I think. Now, I'm not sure this is Minecraft, but I'm pretty sure we can just get people to donate their animals here. And they'll think they're doing the right thing because it's a very nice area in here. There are no predators in a climate controlled building. All right, so I put up another hopper. It says donate mob eggs to the wildlife sanctuary. Now they're gonna think this is a wildlife sanctuary. So they're gonna be more inclined to donate. Now I, there is bamboo around. So I assume we'll get some pandas. Um, obviously there's water. So hopefully we get some tropical fish, some turtles, some dolphins. All right, I am seeing a massive problem with our exclusive resort guys. Um, like five people just came here and they started TPing everybody on the server. Half of these people are poor people guys. We don't want them in here, but I have no way to get them out and I guess they can all fish the same. So for now, we're just gonna have to leave it as it is. But as you can see, what the heck is that quartz thing there? I have to get that. Hold on guys, my thought was interrupted. Am I gonna die? Oh, 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 did I just land that? Boom, and I cleared that. That was a pro level Minecraft play by me. But basically, we're being invaded by the whole server right now. Um, but as long as they're fishing, I guess we don't care. But man, I really thought that that doorway was gonna keep everybody out. Just gonna do some mid episode panda breeding right here. Wow, it looks like one of them escaped. Oh, get back in. Guys, I didn't want it to come to this, but basically I just breeded the pandas in this one right here. He won't go back in the cage. And you know, I hate to do this, but I, I really don't know if pandas drop anything and I've been waiting to kill one for a while. Oh, they dropped bamboo. Oh, that's so sad. I was thinking we were gonna get like panda meat or something. Even though I've never seen panda meat. I don't know, it just seemed like, I mean, it's a giant animal. Shouldn't they drop some sort of meat? I don't know, Mojang, that seems like a mistake to me. All right, so I ended up not winning the auction for the strawberry hat, but then I went on there and I snagged a strawberry act. It was only like a hundred and something thousand. I think it was $175,000, but we have a strawberry item to put in our casino and we can get this thing back up in operation. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Oh wow, so I just opened it up and these people are already waiting to purchase, but this is what they have to win. So they could win a diamond, a strawberry ax, or two of the mending books we got from our daily keys, which we have another one to open by the way. So we'll go do that soon. But we have set the price at $75,000. So we increased the price from the vanilla sword, $25,000 from where it was at, because this is a strawberry item Oh, is this the winner from the last time? Oh my gosh, this must be the guy who won the casino last time. Look at that sword, that was the previous prize. That's pretty incredible to see. What's his name? We need to remember him. Can of, can of beans. Oh, I love that name, can of beans. I do not like beans in real life though, but that's a good name. All right, before anybody buys that, let's go open up our daily. I ended up getting another one, so we need to do this really quick. So I'm at the crates and we are gonna open this daily crate and we are not even gonna see what we get. That is going to be the key today. Yeah, $2,500, buddy. You wish that was me. Nope, not even watching. Dang it, it's a bow. It showed up in my head. Oh my goodness, I thought that strategy was gonna work. You know, it's like when a guy blows up something and walks away and doesn't even look back. I was doing that there and it did not work. You know, at this point, do you guys think we could sell this freaking chest for something? Maybe when we get the whole thing filled with daily items? I mean, what is the real value of this stuff? Minecraft needs a disenchanting or discrafting table that you can like put things in and get the raw material back. Cause I would rather have a bunch of gold ingots and all that garbage. I was flying back over to my area with the casino, but then I see this. It says Raining Soaps Art Museum. We have got to make a little journey through here. I used to have an art museum on the last server, so I am a very big fan of these. Wow, what the heck is that? Netherland? Oh my, we, oh my gosh, guys. We have to hire somebody right now to build us 
Oh my god, I don't try to walk in F5. You can't do that. We have got to hire ourselves somebody to build us an advertisement for our fishing casino and resort. Oh my goodness, I can see it now. I could literally put them all over the shopping district right here. What the heck is that? Wait a minute, is this Zach? Is that Loverfell over there? What the heck is this? Wait a minute, guys? I can't move, look at me. I'm stuck in a flying as I'm walking. Is anybody seeing this? When I do E even, it's making me upside down in the inventory. What kind of glitch is this? I literally cannot move. I am stuck inside of Ben's arena. At least there's a show going on, but guys, I literally cannot move. I'm jumping and it's still got me flying. What kind of glitch is this? Oh my. I can't even use fireworks. What the heck is this? And I, I actually am flying. Look at this. What the heck is going on right now? This is the weirdest glitch I've ever seen in Minecraft. Oh, and it fixed. If anybody knows what just happened, let me know. Okay, before I was rudely interrupted by that weird glitch in the giant zombie, I mean, guys, we have got to get ourselves a map so we can put them everywhere. Um, is there even more? Oh, we could get banners too? This is opening up my entire mind right now. What kind of art museum is this, by the way? I mean, there's very no headroom in here. Who built this thing? Okay, so there's basically no art in this entire thing. There were only three paintings and a couple banners, but you know what? That was enough. Wow, it's, it's really, it just keeps going. There's nothing there. We know what we need now, though. I'm getting pretty good with these elytra, if I do say so myself. Watch this, 360 no scope. Oh, I missed it. Oh my gosh, it would've been so cool. I would've talked about it for another five minutes if I had actually hit that. Oh, somebody just purchased and they did not win. That is great news for us. We have a lot of people here right now. Um, Crystals is basically, the person we bought this from us is advertising for us nonstop for some reason. So, oh my gosh, we keep selling. We need to make sure. Oh no, there, there's no way to stop the scammers. What the heck is going on with my face right there? There was some sort of fish on my screen, but guys, we have an issue. I didn't realize that people can just stand on top of each other when buying from the casino. And oh my gosh, now we have a mod here. I have caused admins and mods to come, but that's what happens when you open up a casino with good items. People come, nobody has won yet though. Luckily I can check it from the back because from the front, you can't even get in there. You know, it's times like this when you see a floating turtle optical illusion that you just, you, you ask yourself, what on earth am I doing on this server? Um, because I, I don't know what is going on anymore. Um, I mean, at least the casino has finally died down a little bit, but man, what the heck is even, now there's two of them, what is even that? I don't even know what I'm looking at. And how many mods have to come? I mean, guys, I am breaking the server today. I really don't know what to say, except this is amazing. We have to see if anybody's donated to us. It's very important to check this throughout the day because you never know what you're gonna get. Oh, dang it, that's a fake. Who faked me out with one of those? Guys, look at the junk people are putting in here. I am not keeping a daily sword or a netherite shirt. I mean, what, what the heck are people doing anymore on this server? Just behave yourself and put the fish in here. Come on, guys. I did not want all your junk. There were no pets in the donation chamber, but guys, I have a massive headache. Look at this when I just try to play the game. People are just fishing right at me everywhere I go. You people are unbearable sometimes. Oh my goodness. Look at this little crew following me right here. I need out of here. I need a firework escape. Come on. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad on these elytra. Does anyone have any tips? Maybe I need to do an episode where we play one of those like elytra maps. I'm actually gonna die here, but I'm still gonna risk it because I am a beast at the game. Dang it. 